And that we're very early in the WDA spring season, but heading into play today, 60% of the baseball teams in the league are on a winning streak. Williston has five wins in its first six games of the season. Century hoping for its first win of the year. Century got to work in the bottom of the first with a couple of outs and a runner on second. Carter Kruger chops one to third. The thrower to first does not connect and Ben LaDuke would cross and the Patriots go, would go up by that one run. Landon Miller. And the Coyotes, the Coyotes would have some trouble closing out this inning. This is Gavin Lill knocking in Kruger and giving Century its second uh, run of the frame. The Coyotes, though, would get a chance back in the third. It's Caden Fenders uh, rolling it, and the play cannot be made at first, and that allows uh, Bergstrom to score, and uh, Williston would go on and score six times in both games and win both games by the final of 6-3. to three. So it's a Coyotes sweep. The first game at the Sanford Sports Complex today, 10 a.m., Bismarck and Watford City. And in game one of this one, the BHS would grab the lead with the bases loaded. Brady Helm gets it out on the turf out in center field. Jason Grossclose and Connor Harvison would score, and the BHS is on the board. Ty Sanders. Is the next guy up for the Demons. He would send this one out in the left field. Gannon Swanson would score to make it a three-run game. There were six runs that scored in the inning, including this RBI bunt single from Tanner Grossclose as BHS takes both games. The finals were 18 to nothing and 5 to 4. Elsewhere in baseball, Legacy beats Mandan twice by scoring eight runs twice. It was Washburn over Hedegar Scranton, 7 to 2. Shiloh Christian with a pair of 10 run wins over Beulah. And Dickinson tops uh, St. Mary's today in a WDA doubleheader. Well, it's the first uh, two soccer matches of the season. The Mandan girls have found the net 10 times. Century looked to slow down the scoring tonight on the Braves home turf. The Patriots win would be their first. Century looking for an opening goal here. It's Kiana Pollard flicking it forward to Ray Ogden, who has control of it, but she is brought down in the box. So the ref points to that spot. It's a penalty uh, kick coming for Century. And there you see Ashlyn Davison putting it away nicely. Century with the lead four minutes in. The Braves looking to get that goal back though. Kylie Thompson will loft it forward. The ball goes to Riley Culber who volleys, bounces a couple of times and levels this game at one all. Ten minutes until halftime. It's Tegan Drawl passing it through to Sarah Heldrop. She would score it as Mandan would lead it and go on to win it by the final of four to three. On the softball diamond, Legacy and Minot have jumped out to a combined 6-0 in the WDA. They met today in the Magic City, and Minot won game one by 23 runs. This is part of game two. Legacy freshman Ainsley Johnson hitting a, a base hit here, going right up the middle, but she was stranded. The Majets at this point have a two-run lead. In the third, Katie Olson pitching for the Sabres with a ball hit out to Mike Heinmeier out and left. She puts that away, but then Minot would start to get its scoring going once again. They get a little help on this particular play, but Minot takes game two by the final of 13. 13 to 3 game one again, a 23 run victory. Mandan scored 28 runs in a game played against Belcourt up in Minot. It was Williston beating Century 6 to 5 and 8 to 1. Demons and uh, the Blue Jays split a doubleheader. College, DSU beats Presentation twice, Bemidji twice in a couple of close games over U Mary. In tennis, Mandan 6 3 dropping St. Mary's Dickinson 5 4 over Century. Devils Lakes Grant Nelson has declared for this summer's NBA draft. He's a 6'11 forward for the Bison. The 2020 Mr. Basketball winner has hired an agent, but the rules are such now that Nelson could return to college basketball if he does not sign a pro contract. There were five runs scored in the 10th inning. Boston got three of them.